You know, this time of year is the season of miracles, and former NHL player Lyle Odeline knows exactly what that means. He's had a miracle of his own. Hockey fans will remember the longtime defenseman as a tough player who was not afraid to drop the gloves. He spent most of his time in the NHL with the Canadians and won the Stanley Cup with them in 93, but he retired as a Penguin in 2006 with 182 career fights to his name. But it was just last year that Lyle faced the biggest fight of his life. He almost died after getting a blood infection. Doctors at Allegheny General Hospital say Lyle was the sickest, sickest patient that they have ever had and that he was going to die. But then they came up with a way to save his life. It's a surgery that has only been attempted on a couple of patients in the world. Susan Kilpin has his incredible story of survival. That's why it's getting a little ugly out here right now. Ron Hainsey and Lyle Odeline. Lyle Odeline spent 17 years in the NHL. His last stop before retirement was with the Pittsburgh Penguins. Since hanging up his skates, he has filled his days spending time with his family, traveling, going to charity events, and playing golf. But a golf trip to Scottsdale, Arizona, almost killed him. So you hit the ball like out into the rough. Yeah, right? definitely. And went to go get it. Yeah. I was looking for it and went in by the cactus. It's called a jumping cactus. This is what a jumping cactus looks like, and Lyle was pricked by one. And he didn't think much of it? No, no, not at all. What Lyle didn't know was that prick from the cactus would lead to a serious and potentially deadly blood infection. So you're sick in yeah. bed, and what do you think? You think you have the flu? Yeah, I just didn't. I didn't sleeping like 18 hours a day. I didn't feel well. I didn't leave, didn't leave the house. Eventually, his friends would bring him to the ER at Allegheny General Hospital. When I got the call that Lyle was coming in, I met Lyle down in the emergency room and he didn't look so good. Things went from bad to worse. The blood infection from that cactus had traveled to Lyle's heart and his organs started shutting down. Lyle, who made a living fighting on the ice, was about to be in a fight for his life. Please don't let me die. Please don't let me die, Laurel. And I did everything I could to save his life. Lyle's wife, Laurel, was with him as he slipped into a coma. Doctors told her it didn't look good. He was playing golf. You can't tell me he's 49 years old. There's got to be a plan B. Transplant surgeon Dr. Nock Tai and a team of doctors, including cardiac surgeon Stephen Bailey, came up with Plan B. They would replace Lyle's heart valve and then do a double organ transplant all in one day. He's probably the sickest patient we've ever done in terms of transplant. And not only did he need a liver, his liver had deteriorated. Not only did he need a kidney, but then he needed an aortic valve on top of that. Each one of those surgeries is a major surgery and now to do all three in one person that was a lot lyle's doctors knew it was a long shot we felt like that even though it was high risk it was worth taking that risk to give him a shot at survival just a real good stretch through the shoulders and survive he did though the surgery left him temporarily paralyzed he fought like the defenseman he had been for so many years in the nhl and it took six months before he could walk again lucky to be here One year later, he's back playing golf and living life to its fullest. And Lyle knows full well he beat the odds. Do you look in the mirror and say, wow, am I lucky? I got a smile on my face every day. <laughs> Oh, look at that smile, too. I know, that's incredible. Lyle played golf against his transplant surgeon and won. He has luck on his side, right? He said the fans have been really supportive and other players and coaches as well. And he can't thank his doctors enough for saving his life. Mm -hmm. And as Sudison said, Lyle received a new kidney and liver. The organs came from a man about the same age as Lyle. He was married with a daughter from Washington, D.C., but Lyle doesn't know much more other than that. He did write a letter to the doctor's donor, or to the donor's family. He thanked them, and Lyle and his family would like to encourage everybody to become organ donors. That's very important. Well, from hockey to boxing, up next, another incredible and inspiring story about a local athlete who has battled back. Mikey Hood will introduce you to a woman named Rebecca Maine, and she'll tell you how she turned to boxing to help fight her drug addiction and ended up completely changing her life.
Plus, are you headed out to another family member's house this afternoon for Christmas Eve dinner or maybe church services later tonight? Ron will have a look at your updated Christmas Eve forecast ahead.